Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine with another book review, and this is Rainbow Visual Biography. Um, this is by Jerry Bloom, who knows more about Richie Blackmore and Deep Purple than most people probably on the planet. Um, and he really loves this subject. And there are many books about Rainbow and Deep Purple, aren't there? And is there room for another one on our bookcases, let alone in a, in a bookshop somewhere? Yeah, there is, because this one is a bit different and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to quit, have a quick flick through and I shall talk to you as I go through it. So it won't be such a long summary at the end, um, but here we go. So this is Rainbow, a visual biography by Jerry Bloom. And this is from Weimar Publishing, who are absolutely superb publishing house for rock books. Um, they also publish a lot of books by Martin Popoff, who's one of my favourite authors. And it's great to know that these books and his books are available in the UK. Um, I'm not going to go through every page. We'll be here forever. Uh, and again, you know, I want to encourage you to get your own copy of this and to tell you, you know, honestly what I think of it. But just the general layout is for a for a rock fan, you open it up and straight away you're exposed to lots of picture sleeves from one of your favourite bands. So it's tick. And as you go into the book, I'll show you that the bit that <laughs> you know this is going to be different. Um, is when it says, it says here in the preface about the fact that, you know, this, the background to the book, but it's this. <laughs> it starts from 1685. <laughs> and and it's, it's a timeline. It's an absolute timeline. Um, John Sebastian Bach was born then on the 31st of March, by the way. Of course, I was a massive influ influence on Richie Blackmore. And then he even got the day that Jim Marshall was born. Um, for, for martial amplification, so anything that could have possibly helped Richard Blackmore become who he is, is in here, going through absolutely every, um, every, every point in time. And it's interspersed with lots of picture sleeves and, and clippings and stuff, and absolutely fantastic. Now, this is the kind of book where I'll just pick off the shelf and dip into it, because all for research purposes, I mean, obviously, I'm someone that does videos uh, on on rock music, and even though this is a subject that I know a fair bit about, um, I this is the kind of book that I shall dip into to to make sure I've got my facts straight, and also to to inspire me to do other things. So some of these pictures I've not seen before. I just got to share that. That's my favourite picture of Richie Blackmore. That is, it was used a lot in posters around that time, seventy five ish. And it goes through each year, each period of the band. But there's lots of text, as I said, going through. You know, obviously, as we go through the more key dates, the text expands accordingly, as you'd expect. Um, but everything like Electric Savage by Colosseum 2 is, is mentioned because obviously Don Airy and the Deep Purple Connection, etc. Um, but some great stuff and lots of photographs I'd not seen before. And it, it continues all the way through. And some great clippings. And it's a great story. And it's really well put together. And it's been put together with a lot of passion and love for the subject. Of which, of course, Jerry knows a hell of a lot about. So we go through the, the bonnet period. And then we move on to Jolyn Turner. And I say a lot of these pictures are new to me. More clippings going through. Oh, that's a good one, isn't it? Um, Richie Blackmore still destroying his guitars at that stage, which he did for quite a while. Final vinyl. I love the press cuttings as well, and it's great to have them in such large um, format. And then we're into the more recent stuff. Um, Doogie White, who I recently interviewed for the Now Spinning Magazine podcast. And then, of course, um, heading towards... The last incarnation of rainbow as well and i also love this and well researched lots of stats um going through all the different releases chart positions etc everything you'd want so yes it is a visual history of the band more pictured pit cover than the back but it's also more than a visual biography it's a great and different slant on the rainbow story 
Anyway, this is what I think of it, and so I'll just do a quick summary. So that's Rainbow, a visual biography, and hopefully that's tasted your appetite and thinking, do I want this on my bookcase? Um, and I just, I just loved it, as I said when I went through it, that it starts from 1685. <laughs> <laughs> which which is a surprise um, and literally goes through a timeline from that period that anything that could have possibly influenced Richie Blackmore along the way and every single train spotter fact you might want to know and a lot of the photographs are new um, a lot of the cuttings and memorabilia is new to me and trust me I've seen a lot of them um, as you know this is my train spotter subject um, if I ever went on Mastermind. Um, so it takes quite a bit for me to go, I've not seen that before. Um, but I, I, I just love the way the stories were told. I love the, the fact it focuses on lots of different periods and not just the obvious ones. And a lot of the photographs also do that. And it goes right up to date until the last um, reincarnation of Rainbow. And also there's lots of stats. And again, I love statistics and I love stuff like that because it, um, although my bank balance doesn't because it sends me off to eBay to try and because it makes me realise there's something I've missed. Um, but it's, as you saw, it's lovely and it's a very, very substantial book. Um, it really, really is. So that is out now. So if you're a Rainbow D Purple fan, it's a good thing to add to your library. So thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me and thank you for your comments and encouragement for doing more book reviews and, and as now Spinning Magazines becomes a complete rounded experience for music collectors or whatever physical media it is that you love. So take care, stay safe and I shall see you on my next video.